Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Overblood. Okay, so I finally got my controls all fixed. They were acting all wonky. Um, apparently, this controller decided that um, the down or the left trigger would always be um, uh, would always be active. So I can switch to her. Okay, can you like push it? I should probably... So how do we get to breaking through there? Okay. I was hoping with her it'd be a simple thing. Hmm. Let's look up the walkthrough. Because I imagine it's going to be something really silly. Because this game seems to have like bizarre, silly stuff going on in it. And also, I completely forgot to upload today. Oopsie doo, I'll do that in a moment. Probably once I finish this one. Uh, actually, I'll probably finish this game long before then. So, let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, got the sample tube. Okay, so I'm missing some items. Whee! Isn't that fun? Apparently there's a hidden item. So let's go back. Well, let's see. Do I actually have the item? I like how she ducks too. Ugh. No, I still have the silver card key. Okay, now there's a bunch of items that I'm missing. So we have to go... Back to the room with the zombie. And apparently there's stuff there. I don't know how you'd find this stuff, because I guess you just keep searching everything. Not why he did that. No, it's this room. I'm trying to remember. It's been the weekend again, so I don't remember. All right. So, next to the fire extinguisher, there's supposed to be a thing. Let's see. That's... Okay, nothing here. Is there even a fire extinguisher here? I guess she's stuck on something because I hear her consistently walking. So, yeah, it would be where I found her. Which, thought it was here. Now it was here. Alright, so... Yeah. Like I'd find that. Alright, and then on the desk... I thought there was supposed to be something else, but I guess that's it. They say it's something else in the walkthrough, which is helpful. Alright.
Eh, don't get stuck on walls. So... Yeah, you get stuck on the corner of a wall. Yay, clipping. It's weird because, like, most games had, like, painted backgrounds where you just shrink and increase the character, and based on their size, it like, or hitting a certain point on the screen, you would transition. But this one is actually more like, like, uh, Dino Crisis 1 and 2, where you're actually in a three-dimensional place. Unlike the Resident Evil painted, which, frankly, I think looks a lot better. Alright. I like how he teleported to her butt. That's quite a vibration. That's what she said. Alright. So, now... Okay, I don't know why you did that. Can't climb up there. Alright, so I guess it's on the other side of the room? Yeah, I don't know how you'd figure this one out. No. Nasty stuff. Be careful with it. Yeah, basically, there's a whole bunch of items in here when. Uh, the whole kneeling to find stuff is a little weird. It should be right around here. Ugh, come on, get back. There we go. Fast acting medicine. And. I know, I'm... Did you actually leave it? Okay. No. So... Now this is just silly. Because you can just jump up, so... Well, not there, but like when it's down, I could jump up before. Oh no, I think he automatically went. Still silly. So, you oil hydraulics and somehow that makes them better. Not really. Normally when your hydraulic's shaking, that means there's like a fault in the hydraulic. I mean, if... If a shaky uh, little platform, seriously, if a shaky little platform is all it takes to make it blow up, then, like, really, you just walking around would probably make it blow up. Unrealistic, but I'll go with it.
I wouldn't have thought to blow it up. I would have just thought to, like, crawl in between the crack. I mean, it's... It's big enough. Alright. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and quick save. Because apparently you can die here. Although as fun as that would be. Alright, so... So, first thing we do is put that. I like how they draw these scenes, but the rest are like 3D, or those are at least proper 3D models. They didn't do like high res 3D models. And also, that's not really a thermostat, that's a, a hot plate. Um, so, we're going to need to run. Like, what would you do if you put your hand on it and it just exploded? Get out of my way, bitch. Yeah, if you don't run up there, you die instantly. Nasty stuff. You weren't kidding. Come on, that's our way out. Unless you just blow up the train tracks on the other side. Also, that would be really hot for quite a while. Okay, so I guess we just run down the train tracks. I try to avoid the walkthrough unless I'm just looking for things. Well, that's a thing that just happened. So let's let's redo this. Uh, I'll remember to save. I was like, why can't I get near that tram? So yeah, we'll have to see this again. I guess this is like the death trap area. It's the boss boss death trap. Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna press it. You can see double explosions. Nasty stuff. You weren't kidding. Come on, that's our way out. All right. So let's jump up here and then quick save. Wow, this is something I would have never figured out. So, ready for this? Look out. Yeah. You have to tap inspect like three times. Explosion must have jarred it into action. You were supposed to be careful with it. I'm sorry, but if we're gonna get out of this place, we've gotta take some risks. I can't imagine what caused all this destruction. Maybe a few too many guys like you taking risks. Wow, burn. I miss Peepo already. Well, I got a gun. Why would you have an elevator for such a tiny, tiny place? That's just silly. You could just walk over. I mean, unless it's supposed to be longer than it looks. Also, I should save. Yeah, apparently you have to hit inspect multiple times in order to uh, get through that. Stupid. I don't know the password. Get 
Did she use it? No. That's hard stuff. That's man stuff. <laughs> Alright, let me just move this so I at least have an idea where I am in the walkthrough should I need it. Sippy sip of something to drink. Well, let's not hit pause. Disengaging door lock. Thank you for the commentary. I'm curious, this is kind of like look around thing. Well, let's go left. Very blue in here. That sound of them walking is actually very something. You may not proceed beyond this point until sterilization is completed. Sterilization? As in decontaminated. Hmm, you sure? I may want to have kids someday. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still, somebody should tell the computer that it's a little late to be worried about contamination. No kidding. Some computers just don't get it. I wish this computer were more like Peepo. He understood. Peepo? What's a Peepo? My little robot friend. He helped me out of a jam, but he... he didn't survive. Oh, you met SR-19. I see. I mean... SR-19? What did you... Oh, no. Nothing. I, I, I was just... Never mind. Suspicious. He helped me when I was attacked by one of those mutants. But he died in the effort. So, tell me about this... What did you call him? People. If you were still with us, we wouldn't have any trouble getting through here. We will just have to give it a try ourselves. Let's just do what the computer asks us to do. Get ourselves sterilized. Well, I guess he's not making it through. Raz, think you can figure out how to initiate the sterilization sequence? I'd better. This is the end of the line. We're going to have to get access to the equipment first, right? I'll get in. One way or another. You better wait here. No, don't leave me, Raz. This will make you feel better. Even those things aren't immune to bullets. Oh, I guess I'll be all right. Look out for yourself. I won't leave you alone. I give you my word. Well, I guess we're stuck, so I guess we'll just have to repopulate the human race inside this little tiny box with no food. It'll go well. I promise. At least we can do the actions to help that. But even she's not taking his shit. She's like, Peepo, what the fuck are you talking about? So I guess I'm going to need to do the air duct control. That's what I'd guess. Well, yeah, he doesn't know the password. Okay. So, considering this is the, there is that other door, but I don't trust it. So let's go climbing in the vents, because that's what he do. That's how Raz do. And he can't run. So, ooh, excuse me. Enjoy this. Getting stuck on the edge. All 
I think this game needs an HD remake. Okay, that's shut. I like how he has his finger up like he's holding a gun, but he's not holding a gun. I'm gonna like fake gun the zombies. Well, that's great. Am I stuck in the air vent now? Or did it open something? No, I think it closed the beginning. Alright, well, I guess we'll go see what she's up to. Loading. We've gone for like three minutes. Three minutes is too long. Oh, okay. Let me go to the other room. Because if she can't use. Okay, don't get stuck on the wall. Okay, I'm thinking that he has to close the door. He's gotten himself stuck behind the ventilation turbo valve. Uh, what? How did you even know that? That's all right, Raz. I'll have you out of there in no time. Okay. And now can I switch back? I like how the password is just accepted. Okay, so I believe we go down here, right? Yeah. Okay. And this way is just a dead end. It kind of looked like a drop down, but perspective is not the greatest in old games like these. Uh, let's quick save. Now what's he doing? Why doesn't he keep going? Oh, I see. The turbo vent's damaged. But he should still be able to get clear. Of course. The turbo's reversed. He's getting blasted by the exhaust. I've got to close the valve, or he doesn't have a chance. Okay. All right, so...
Okay. Oh, so there is a punishment for turning that valve earlier. And that's this punishment. Well, that's interesting that I got that. So she's going to need to go back and hit the valve. See, that's not even that long. You can just have people walk here, put some ferns. Well, I don't know why they have it here, but sure. And how does she know what a turbo lift is? I'm suspicious of you, lady. Lady. Backtracking, backtracking. Should have just left that stupid valve alone. Valve closed. Never now you're never getting Half Life Three. So a better question is why they didn't continue more of those extra chapters in Half Life Two. They just kinda made two. They should have just made that the whole fucking game. Instead of saying like extra bonus episodes. I don't know. I always feel like a game should keep going. They should just keep making extra parts to it if they can. Until there's nothing left. I mean, that's what I appreciate at least about the current update, which I like for No Man's Sky. They've actually made the game functional and interesting. And you can actually earn money for once. Instead of like, oh, here's all this hard work you did. Here's a thousand credits. By the way, the next ship is eight million. So have fun doing this eight thousand more times. Oh, you want to buy and trade stuff? Good luck with that. You'll make like 53 units on each. Now you can effectively grow millions. So, that's fair. Especially considering I saw an item, a freighter for sale in that for 378 million. So, there's that. This isn't good. Well, that's a thing that just happened. Uh, you know what I'll go ahead and do? I'll go ahead and get that all set in the next episode of Let's Play Overblood. With me, Morak Dias. See you later.